Here's a quick tutorial on how to enable text-to-speech recognition on Chromebooks. Any student or teacher can do this. This is built into our Chromebooks. A uh, really cool feature for you, uh, for students that maybe need this, uh, the support at home, especially with the distance learning. So the first thing that we're going to do is go down to the what would be your app launcher bar, and you're going to come over to where your um, icons are in the lower right-hand corner, click on it, and we're going to click on settings. Once we click on settings, this is going to open up and what we have to do is turn on accessibility features and so that your students can see if they have accessibility features on or not. So one of the things when I click in here, I don't see the accessibility settings. So what I want to do is come over in my settings. So again, through my settings, then I'm going to hit advanced. And under advanced, you see accessibility. Uh, and what you're going to do is always show accessibility options in the system menu. This is a great thing to leave on in your system menu, which is your system tray in the lower right-hand corner. So now that we've got that set up, we can close out, come down here. When I hit my system tray again, you'll notice I now have accessibility. So this video is going to focus on uh, the speech, the select to speak. So I'm gonna add and turn on the select to speak, and this is added a new, uh, icon for the select to speak to to use for this so I can close this out and now I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to open up and this is any text that it recognizes so I'm just going to open up a Google site this is my Google site and so I'm at my Google site and what students would do is they would hit the select to select to speak button and then it gives them a cursor to drag around and they just have to drag around the text that they would like to read. I have been teaching at Southwest Middle School since 2017, but I have been in education for 17 years. I have a BS in Information Systems Management and a master's degree in education. In my spare time away from the classroom, I enjoy reading and playing ice hockey. I am looking forward to an amazing year of learning and growing alongside your student. So I'll read everything that was in the highlight. So if students want to read, get more text, they would come back down hit the select to speak again, drag a box around whatever it is that they want to do. They could do it as a page. They could do it as a paragraph, however they want to get it done. Um, they can always leave this up and running and only use it when they need to. Uh, so that would be a great tool for supporting students that maybe need assistance with reading. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.